Hello everyone, I'm Bobby in Blue, and on this channel we talk about all things tech. Today we're going to be unboxing the brand new Apple Pencil Pro, the new iPad Pro Smart Folio, and the Magic Keyboard itself. We're going to start with these accessories, and then we'll also unbox the brand new iPad Pro. Okay, so let's get to unboxing these accessories. I'm going to start with the Apple Pencil. This new Apple Pencil comes in an all new box. It's got this cool design on the front of it, and I guess that there's a couple of different versions of the Apple Pencil box. This is the new Apple Pencil Pro. Though it looks identical to the other Apple Pencils, it's got some new pro features in it. Both the squeeze gesture that you can do, as well as the new barrel roll feature. And let's see what this guy looks like. So they have gone to an all paper packaging, which I think is really cool. Um, here is that new Apple Pencil. You can see it up against the background here. And there's the little Apple Pencil Pro that you see on the writing. Other than that, it seems like it's identical physically to the previous generation Apple Pencil, but got some new features inside. Next up is the iPad Pro Smart Folio. This is a slightly different variation of the previous Smart Folios. They've got new magnets in them. That's a little more secure magnets. And it's also got some different viewing angles. There are two different options in the viewing angle as well. So let's unbox this. I chose to get the, the new blue color which uh, if you know me or you know my channel, fits right along with me. Let's see what this is like. I like this new color. It is not too bright, not too dark. It's just kind of snug on the in-between. This looks like a lot like previous generation smart folios, but it does have that new magnets, which I'll show you shortly when we get the iPad Pro out as well. But that's what's inside of the new iPad smart folio for the iPad Pro. And last but not least, let's open the brand new Magic Keyboard. All right, this is the brand new iPad Magic Keyboard. Differences here is this internal section is gonna be aluminum. This new hinge mechanism in the back, it's a different shape. It also allows for it to kind of float like it has in the past slightly further back. And that allows for this new function row of keys that you see here and a slightly bigger trackpad as well. So let's see what this is like. There it is on the inside there, some packaging there. Got the new keys there, the new trackpad. It doesn't click like the previous generation one. It no longer physically clicks, which I think is nice. It's got haptic feedback like the new MacBooks. And so this should be interesting to try out. And then of course this whole new row here at the top. One of the biggest things that people about the Magic Keyboard have asked for is that function row to come back. You have an escape button, you can adjust your brightness, you can pull up your apps, spotlight search, microphone, you can, um, I think this says do not disturb, and then uh, pause and play and skip forward tracks as well as volume adjustment tracks with the volume up or down and a mute, and then a lock button as well. So excited to try this out. It seems to be a similar texture, if not the exact kind of material that's on the outside of the previous generation one. And then this is something else that's different about this new one. Even though it has the pass-through charging port, this is just for charging, not for data. It's all aluminum. It's got this different hinge on the back of it as well. It's no longer wrapped in that uh, fabric stuff as well. The hinge is exposed. And then it just pops open like this. Rumor is that this is a new magnet configuration for the new iPad Pro. And so we'll have to see what that's like as well. But this is what the new Space Black Apple Magic Keyboard looks like for the iPad Pro M4. <clears throat> okay, and last but not least, let's get into this iPad. And here it is, the brand new 2024 M4 iPad Pro. I really like this new Apple packaging with just the paper. So satisfying. Let's see if we can do this one. Ooh. And you can see here, I picked up the 13 inch M4 Wi-Fi plus cellular in the two terabyte. And I got it in the space black. 
Let's see if we can get this to open up. Ooh, there it is. Oh, first impressions on the thinness. I mean, the paper's not even off of it yet, and it is a thin iPad. So that's the iPad itself. And then let's see what's here. This should be the instructions and just kind of paperwork that comes with it. And if rumors have it correct, no more Apple stickers. And the rumors are true, no more Apple stickers. Oh, this is a nice touch. I've seen this with a couple of the new M3 MacBooks with the braided black cable that comes with the space black ones. And this says the same thing here. And then a regular um, iPad USB-C charging, charging plug. Just saying, if this was black as well, that'd be really great. All right, let's get into this. Ooh. The new single camera, they removed that camera. LiDAR sensor. Apparently new magnets on the back of these as well. And then there she is. Let's turn it on and see what it looks like. Very cool. And back in the case here. Okay, so the case looks like it has two adjustable spots. There are magnets right here, and there are also magnets up here. So you can get a viewing angle like this, or a viewing angle that's pretty much straight up and down like this. So it's made to use here or here. That's the first look at this brand new OLED tandem OLED screen, which is pretty cool as well. I'm gonna see what it's like in the new Magic Keyboard. The magnets do feel like they're stronger on this than in some of the previous models. There's the Magic Keyboard itself. Pop that up, align the cameras there. Oh, that's pretty slick. I'm very happy with the way that that looks and feels. You can see here the thickness of it with the both of them. It looks like the keyboard might be slightly thicker than the iPad itself, or sorry, the other way around, the iPad slightly thicker than the keyboard, just so you get a feel for that. You can see here on the bottom of the iPad itself, the whole thing is just about as thin as that charging port is. So to give you some reference points for how thin it is. This is the other thing I wanted to try out here, putting on the Apple Pencil. So it's a good angle for this. So you can see here, the iPad is actually thinner than the Apple Pencil is by quite a bit. Okay, that's one more comparison. <clears throat> Just for comparison's sake, on this side, I have my old iPad Pro, um, last year's model. And then let's put them side by side. New iPad Pro with the keyboard case in terms of thinness. It is really close, let's see. If we can get these on here without the Apple Pencils. Put them closer together and you can see the difference here. So it's hard to tell on the video, but the new one is pretty much the same thickness with the keyboard as it is to the previous model. Obviously the black parts of the keyboard make that a little thicker, but the metal itself is pretty close to the thickness of the keyboard and the new iPad. So that's wild to see just how thin they are. And then if we take them out of the cases, get a feel for the thickness of them. So that is quite a bit thinner. More to come in my next video. I just wanted to do a quick unboxing video here. It's funny because it really is quite a difference 
when you hold it in your hand. It's not just how thin it is, but it's the weight. It's also like kind of the angle that the pressure puts on your finger when you're holding it right here. It really does feel like a magical piece of glass, like they kind of have always said they wanted the iPad to be. So first impressions are, I am really excited. This thing looks solid. Can't wait to get it set up. Thanks for watching. I'm Bobby in Blue, and follow for more tech videos just like this. We'll see you in the next one.